about it. I'll hand over now to Kate Lundy uh, to make some more specific remarks about that. Um, look, thanks very much, Andrew. Um, the sad fact about the Coalition's election and their abandoning of the National Broadband Network is that it will uh, rest open the digital divide in Australia once more. Federal Labor was incredibly proud of our National Broadband Network policy as they, we were one of the only Western developed countries to be investing in a universal high bandwidth network for all Australians. That is no longer the case and what we have now is a situation where some Australian citizens who are on the early rollout will have that high bandwidth and others won't. And here in Canberra we know with the long-suffering residents of Gungahlin who finally have their national broadband network that there are several suburbs out here that don't know what's happening, let alone the rest of the ACT. So we're here today to highlight the implications of walking away from the national broadband network uh, by the coalition government. Uh, it is a great shame as we know that not only how homes here but small businesses are hungry for bandwidth. We know this because Gungahlin has the highest take-up rate, the fastest take-up rate of the high bandwidth, the national broadband network in the whole country and indeed some of the fastest take-up rates of the NBN uh, of a high bandwidth network in the whole world. We're very proud of that here in Canberra and it illustrates uh, the level of demand that is here uh, for homes, for small businesses, for micro businesses operating from homes for those higher bandwidth networks. Uh, Bill.